Cooking a delicious weeknight meal for a young professional like myself can be quite challenging. My name is Zhang from the food channel Honeysuckle on YouTube, and today I've partnered with Crockpot Slow Cooker to bring you a delicious mango jerk chicken that'll transport you all the way to the Caribbean. Jamaican jerk seasoning can be a little bit hard to find sometimes, which is why I'm gonna show you a DIY version using spices you already have in the pantry. First, I'm adding one tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of brown sugar, two teaspoons of thyme, one teaspoon of parsley, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of allspice, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of curry powder. To make it mild, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a quarter teaspoon of dried chili pepper flakes. It's a cornucopia of spices. Give it a good mix. Mix, mix, mix. And now I'm gonna transfer it to my glass container for future use. I'll dice up a small red onion, slice up one whole red bell pepper, and cut up a mango into chunks. I'm using a mango that's not quite ripe and it's still firm so that it holds up during the cooking process. If you can't find fresh mangoes in your area, feel free to substitute with frozen mango chunks or you can even use pineapples for this and it'll be delicious. Now here's my crock pot slow cooker. I'll place four chicken breasts directly into the slow cooker pot, sprinkle over some salt and pepper to taste, and two teaspoons of my homemade Jamaican jerk seasoning. I'll add in three tablespoons of chicken broth, one cup of my diced red onions, one cup of my sliced bell peppers, and my mango chunks. I'm gonna tear in a little bit of cilantro for some extra flavor and color. Cover and set it for five hours on low heat. Once the chicken's done cooking, you'll notice that it's expelled a lot of liquid. So I like to make a slurry and turn it into a yummy sauce. I'll take one tablespoon of cornstarch, add a quarter cup of cold water, give it a good mix, and then I'll pour it into my crock pot slow cooker. This will help the sauce thicken up. I'll cover it up and let the sauce thicken for 30 minutes on high. Doesn't that look so good? I'll serve my chicken with mangoes and the sauce right over some white rice and some steamed broccoli. I'll add a little bit more mangoes and sauce and garnish it with some more cilantro. chicken is perfectly cooked and the spices give it this Caribbean kick. The mangoes still hold their texture, it has this little bit of a tanginess to it too. It's delicious. You guys have to try this recipe. The crock pot slow cooker is the best way for me to have a hot, delicious, and yummy meal ready for me when I get home from work. Thank you so much for watching and happy slow cooking. Bye!